Hey everyone, welcome back to The Cloth Awakening. Um, it's been a while and I'm, I'm finally doing my review on the Stitches and Grace pads that I got back in September of 2022. It's a long time ago now, it's almost been a year. Um, so I'm sorry if it took so long. So anyway, let's get right into it. Um, you can refer to my unboxing video if you want to see my first impressions and all that of the pads. Um, what has happened since then is I did try this, um, she has it labeled as overnight postpartum pad, um, gusher pad, and it has um, two layers of bamboo hemp fleece with um, like, looks like two layers of flannel, and then the top layer of cotton velour and then of course the cotton pattern so this one is called raspberry floral which is so cute she named the pads according to the color and the patterns it's so pretty of course with the shop, soft shelf lease backing um, like I mentioned in my first video I was concerned about the stitches around the back that go all the way through and those actually did cause me leaks so I was disappointed in the pad, so that's part of the reason why I put off making the review in the first place was because I didn't want to give a bad review when the owner is so wonderful and the quality of the pads are actually very good and it was just this design flaw for me that wasn't working. She said no one else ever said that they got leaks through the stitching, so I guess I'm a special case or something, but <laughs> I didn't want to make the review and give a bad review. So. I let her know about the problem. Some time had passed and then in March of this year she messaged me and said she was working on a new design and she was wanting to know if I wanted to try one out and she would just send it to me for free. I'm like yeah that would be perfect that way I can show it on my review and have a better review for the pads instead of the one that I had problems with. Um, so yeah, it didn't work very well for me overnight. Um, not just because of the stitching, it just didn't seem, just doesn't seem like the right shape for an overnight pad. Um, I feel like overnight pad needs to be a little more curvy on both ends. And, um, you know, my flow just varies a lot at night. Sometimes it's super heavy, sometimes it's not. Um, I've gone through all different phases, so um, this was just not working for me overnight um, because of the stitching and because of the shape. But it can still hold a lot for daytime. Um, it is relatively comfortable. If I'm feeling particularly in a certain mood, then I might feel like it's bulky and I don't like it. Other times I feel like it's comfortable. So that's just me being finicky, I guess. It is a little bit bulky, but it's relatively comfortable. And I still feel that the quality is there. All the materials still look very good. So, and like I said, it's been almost a year. And I, I don't use it necessarily every cycle, but I've used it quite a bit. And um, I just wear my period underwear to back it up. And that works out okay. So, I was so excited when she told me she was going to send me a replacement pad for me to try so I can be excited about her pads again and not feel like I can't recommend them because of the ones that failed. So she's worked on this new design. It's absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, but there are no stitches through to the back. Here, let me show you the comparison. You can see the stitches there through to the back of the soft shell fleece. No stitches there. Perfectly smooth one piece. No stitching. And look at this gorgeous pad. It's absolutely beautiful. I was so blown away, so stunned um, when she sent this to me. She went above and beyond um, on matching up this dye with the colors in the cotton part. It's perfect and beautiful. Um, so this one she also labeled as an overnight postpartum. The only negative things I have to say is it's still not in my classification, an overnight postpartum pad, it's too 
narrow, it's not the right shape, not enough coverage around the front and the back, it's just a straight pad. Uh, for me, that's not, uh, this shape is just never a postpartum or overnight pad, in my opinion, in my, um, for my needs anyway. I can see that someone can wear this overnight if they don't bleed heavily, but that just would not not work for me. So I believe there's two layers of the bamboo hip fleece inside. Top layer of the cotton velour dyed beautifully. And then of course the cotton here with the beautiful matching yellow snaps. It's just perfect. And the only design thing that I was noticing too is that um, she said that her serger wasn't able to stitch through um, the fabric if it was extra thick with the two layers of the core fabric inside. So it, the core fabric, the two layers actually stop here. I don't know if you can see it. And here on both sides, and you can kind of see it there. Um, it's two layers between here and here, but I believe it's only one layer of the bamboo hemp fleece under here plus top. Um, so she wasn't able to stitch it um, with too many layers, so that's what she she stopped it here and here, which is fine. Um, for me, I would classify this pad as a moderate to heavy, sort of in between a moderate and a heavy pad. I wouldn't call it a heavy heavy or moderate, but I feel like it's sort of in between because it's fine on most days, but if I'm having a particularly, a particularly heavy cycle, I feel like when it gets super, super saturated, it's too much. It's like too much for this pad. I'm not saying I had leaks with it. I'm just saying it just feels like it's too much. And I would consider that between moderate and heavy. Um, that could be because, like I said, of the design being just straight. And um, I don't feel like that really affects it that much. So it doesn't have the extra layer up, up to the top. But it just doesn't seem quite heavy enough as a heavier overnight pad. Um, and I also mentioned that I did order this pad as a three inch snap width because that's what I requested, but most of all of hers are a standard um, 2.75 width inches. Um, so it is a little more narrow, which is actually fine. I just thought I would need the extra width, which I feel is also fine, but this works just fine as well. I mean, she's willing to do custom orders, like I said before. And of course you can just order from her website and order how she already makes it or you can order a custom pad um, and just contact her and tell her what you want. This is a 10 inch pad. So I like 10 inch. It's actually really nice. I have a few other 10 inch ones and for most days it's just perfect. I don't need anything longer. It's overnight that I need something more like 12 or 14 inch sometimes. Um, but I was absolutely thrilled to get this. I, I was probably, it's probably the most excited I've ever been to receive a pad because of how generous she was to send it out for free for me to test and for me to um, have faith in her products again um, without having that leak problem. And just how gorgeous this pad is. And I was just blown away at how beautiful it is and that she was willing to send it to me for free. It was absolutely gorgeous. She's absolutely amazing. And you should totally order her pads. I highly recommend these because I really love soft shell fleece. And I love cotton velour. And that's mainly what she uses. A lot of other companies use bamboo velour, which is fine. I like it all right. But I feel like something about cotton velour is just... Um, when it's wet, it doesn't feel as soaked. I don't know how to explain it. It's just, it's more absorbent. So I much prefer cotton velour over bamboo velour. And as for the gusher aspect on this, eh, I could take or leave it. I don't feel like it makes a huge difference um, not to have the, the slits in it. But of course, I, I didn't really get to test this the way I wanted it to because of the stitching holes. So maybe some time down the line, I'll try another gusher pad. Um, 
in a different style or without stitches through the back and maybe I could better judge it that way. Oh, she told me that um, she's actually going to be changing her core fabric from the hemp, she had bamboo hemp fleece um, before, that's what she used in these, but she's going to be switching to just bamboo fleece. Um, she says it's the same fabric weight, so it should work the same. I was a little disappointed to hear that because I think hemp is really good and has really great holding power, but in the pad I feel like it's not going to make, make that much difference. Um, in the cloth diaper I say maybe it would make a bigger difference, but with the pad I can't really think of why it would make a difference either, so I guess it's not really a big deal. <laughs> either way, um, thank you for watching and definitely order some pads from her. She has lots of different designs on her website. Um, I did not see this one anymore on the website. She does have the gusher pads, but she has the kind that are like, say, all cotton velour all the way around without the cotton part, um, which I have never tried those. Um, but of course, in the future, I would love to try more of her pads. And of course, you can always go on and order whatever you think looks interesting and that you want to try out. Um, don't forget to use my coupon code in the description box when you go to her website to get 10% off. Just remember, Stitches and Grace is a wonderful cloth pad shop, and she has absolutely gorgeous pads and wonderful workmanship and great customer service. So go on over, check it out. Um, she has several new designs that she didn't have when I first looked at it and she has um, lots of different fabric tops and I believe all her backs are the soft shell fleece which is great though because it's very it's very um, waterproof I haven't had any any leaks straight through it or anything like that it's extremely comfortable and I, I love wearing it and since I only have one <laughs> I always wish I had more than one so that I can put another one back on that's just like this because I really like it. I feel comfortable in it. I feel secure and it's great. Thank you. Thanks for watching you guys. Bye.